Today, reacting to Ren and Chinchilla, How to Be Me. So this will be a little bit of a different reaction. This will be a normal reaction, I guess you could say. Not like my typical ones, if you're already familiar with the past ones, like the other Ren ones where I separate the tracks. Can't really do that with this one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, oh. That right there is just so amazing in itself because that's very difficult to get in sync like that. Having two vocalists follow the same runs with their voice, kind of like uh, doing guitar or doing a harmonized guitar solo where there's a lot of fluctuations and patterns and things like that. But for me, when you're doing vocals, there are so many things that could go wrong because they're organic instruments. They're not a set in stone instrument like a guitar is where I guess it could go out of tune technically, but if the guitar is set up properly and you put the strings in place, you're normally set and you don't have to worry about anything going wrong. With vocals though, anything can go wrong. I mean, you could lose your voice out of nowhere. You have to really be in tune with your body and I think that's way more difficult in my opinion. <laughs> feel safe in this bed there are voices in my head i've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me my kingdom turned to dust and i watched all my riches rust have I lost the Midas touch, or do sad eyes blind me? I don't even know how they're pulling off looking into each other's eyes like that. Oh my god, I would have lost it. I'm already like feel the emotions already from hearing them sing, and I just can't imagine like having like she's just staring at me and then they make eye contact oh uh, wow that's over crazy and over we go over the hills and the valleys below oh and it follows me follows me home and it suffocates me I love that. So like that main humming melody that they do together as a harmony is really cool because they have the basis of the harmony, like the part that we know that is going to repeat, but that tail end on every single time changes, which is perfect melody writing in my opinion. When you have it repetitious, but you change it just enough to keep you into the song. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors. And they breathe so loudly. I wish I could move. Get up and walk right out this tomb. Do our saviors die too soon for my sin? Surround me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Always be follows me Follows me Follows me Follows me Suffocates me
to be me. When he gave up the fight, a quick decision lay in the night that stayed with me for all of my life. I miss you so. Y'all warn me about that. Uh, literally chills on my arms. Like, I start sweating. Uh, woo. One moment. Had to blow my nose real quick. Oh, man. Um, uh, sorry guys, not much of music analysis there. I like to provide as uh, much value as I can <laughs> to, to these videos. Um, it was just an amazing song. It was a really good song. Um, very emotional. It's very good. Can <laughs> can't, I still can't even talk. Uh, may I make it... <laughs> Make a video another day explaining my all my thoughts on the on the song. Let's jam out to it. <clears throat> if I can. So the song is gonna be an, an E major. I miss you so.